Welcome back, everyone. You know, once your kids hit elementary school, they start creating their own social path. And that may include making some friends that aren't always the greatest in mom and dad's eyes. So what is a parent to do when they don't like who their child is hanging out with? Developmental and behavioral pediatrician Dr. Tim Jordan joins us now to explain. Dr. Jordan, good to have you with us. First off, tell me what most parents would classify as a toxic friend. Well, oftentimes it's, it's based on rumor. They hear about this kid, if you're like in middle school or high school, who's been vaping or the kid who are in the kind of the racy group and they're having parties. They might have heard these kids are drinking or they're being sex sexually active or they have bad grades. Now, I think sometimes parents make some superficial judgments like I've heard about this group or this kid and they automatically kind of want to wipe them out of their kid's life. So point taken, think, uh, yeah. we should yeah. be careful with, with first impressions and, and judging a book by its cover. But can you say one of the questions we should ask is, why is my child hanging out with that kid in the first place? Why is that important? Yeah, I think instead of just being judgmental or worried, I'd be curious. Because there, there's every, every time your kids hang out with a different kid, they're going to learn something about themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'd be curious. I would ask questions, not like 50 intense questions, but right. a few questions like, for this kid you're hanging with, it's different than your old group. I'm just curious about how come you're hanging out with these people and, and try and hear about why. I mean, there may be some underlying reasons like it's a popular group and everybody wants to be in the popular group. It may be that your child is, has no friends and so they're going to latch on to anybody. Mm. Or it could be that your child's been kind of this, this complacent, kind of quiet kind of kid, and they're kind of wanting to hang out with the kids who are a little bit noisier, the kids who are a little bit more hmm. whatever. So there's always a reason probably why there's an attraction, but I would be curious more than just worried. That makes sense, because bottom line, it is checking some box for this kid that they yeah. feel like they don't have checked otherwise. So let's say that we, we move on down the road a little bit and we really decide as parents, this is not a great person for my child to be hanging out with. How can you get your child to kind of move away from spending so much time with that person? I like to educate kids about their brain. There's a part of our brain that's called mirror neurons. And those have been there since the beginning of mankind. And they were there to help us mimic other people. We are always scanning what people are doing and saying and feeling because it helps us to know what's, what's okay, what's not, because we want to be part of a group. Because being part of a group since the dawn of mankind has been about survival. Because mm -hmm. if you weren't in a group or you got kicked out, you, you didn't survive. And that is still wired in. So I want our, our young people to understand that so that when you're around people and your mirror neurons are on full alert, <laughs> there's a contagiousness about everything. Emotions, you know, depression goes through a group. Happiness will go through a group or a family. Sure. Also things like uh, temptations. If, if we see people who are breaking the rules, our mirror neurons say it's okay to break anything. And, to, and all of our impulse control goes kind of out the window. Mm, so yeah. our kids need to know that. It's not wrong or bad, it's just there. So they need to know about touching into their own gut feelings, like what is right for me. Those pesky neurons always getting in the way of good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it, Dr. Mm. Jordan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good conversation here. We're going to post this segment along with a link to Dr. Jordan's blog right after the show at kmov.com slash great day.